Hey, it's just so Trish, and we are beginning high school algebra. High school algebra, yep, I have a ninth grader this year. So we are going into our 10th year of homeschooling, or 12th, or 11th. I don't actually know what year of homeschooling I'm in anymore. It's just kind of a blur. But this year I have a pre-K to a high schooler. And my freshman is starting algebra using Saxon. All right, so what we are doing, I'm gonna do things a little differently this year. We are using the Saxon book straight out. She does one lesson a day. At the end of every five lessons, once you get to 10 lessons, you take a test. But I have some freebies for you. I actually have printables for you to do this and I have an extra bonus to it. So I've created this nice little basic um, tracker this is for tracking the dates but you know you could use it for whatever you want or you could put scores down if you wanted to but I am doing it to track the dates that she works on it because we're supposed to keep um, something records because this year we're actually registered through the county and then at the bottom I'm having a place to keep the scores for her GPA in algebra I am only using the test scores okay so that's simple enough right that's easy nice cool little pattern that our printout you can use and um, for Saxon but then I have this really really cool one right here so one of the things we're doing and this is a list of college video um, lectures for algebra okay so let me talk a little bit more so we're going into Saxon algebra for those that have been along the journey or who haven't been on the journey, my daughter was a reluctant to math and through Saxon she got caught back up. As in, she was still in 5'4 back in sixth grade. And we moved on to Algebra 1. One of the ways we've done that is we've doubled up on lessons where she reads the lessons, does the lesson practice, and then does the second or sometimes the third, depending on how she's going, practice set and kept going. So we've done quite a pretty vigorous, but not every problem set. But now that we're into algebra, every problem set here. So we're gonna use it the basic, typical Saxon way. We are, she, we are, she is reading the lesson and you know how it lays out. You have, I have screaming kids because you don't have so many. So you have the lesson, you have where it walks through the lesson and then you will have a practice set and then you have a problem set. So now that we're into algebra, she will just do one of those and then she'll take a test at the end of every five lessons the way it's set up. I bought this set new, new, used, and it's a third edition set. And so I will just keep the test forms in the back of her book and the textbook. In the back of this textbook, it actually has the odd, I think it's the odd or the even, answers for all the problems so they can quickly check and I think for all the practice problems too so they can quickly go and check their work that they are doing well and that they're getting it and I can keep this one on the shelf so this they're all coming in so um, we're working through this one of the things we wanted to add I only expect to keep her home through algebra one by the time she finishes this book I plan to enroll her dual enrollment if she deems herself ready and confident and able to handle time management this is the plan so I can't tell you this did happen but this is the plan to happen and at the end of the year I plan to put her in and let the college go ahead and finish doing the math I feel like it'll be a good transition because for the last four years she has been doing Saxon by teaching herself. When she gets into a bind, she'll typically try to YouTube it or ask me, but for the most part, she has learned to teach herself math. I believe when she gets to the dual enrollment, she has lectures, and yes, she has assignments and due dates, which are not typical for a homeschool child, but that lecture added bonus will almost seem like she is getting so much help she'll be overwhelmed. Not really overwhelmed, but just greatly benefited from it and it'll be an easier way to learn than the way she's been having to teach herself. But I want her to be ready. And one of the things we are moving into this year as a ninth grader is learning to take notes. And one of the things I decided to do was use a set of 
algebra. This is el college elementary algebra lectures to use these lectures to just as an added bonus to her algebra course this year, just to her Saxon. I am not lining them up. I am not expecting them to be done at a certain time, except about one to two a week. And the goal is she learns to stay focused through an algebra class, which is about 45 minutes to an hour long. And most of these videos are, there's a few, there's one, at least one that's only 20 minutes. And to be able to take notes and discern what was important. That's my goal with these lectures. She's already started watching them. She says, at first she was a little bit like, this is gonna be boring. And then she found him to be kind of funny and humorous and enjoyable to listen to. By the end of the lecture, she was like, I can now do some of my problems so much faster. I totally get how these things plug in so much more. So it really was a game changer. These video lectures are very special to me. They're my college professor. Yes, so I'm really excited because they're actually my college professor. Dr. Manichero was the integral part that made going to the university so much easier and probably the main reason why I was able to achieve what I did in engineering was because of him. And ways he explained math made me a really strong mathematician for when I did engineering. So for me, he's like the golden goose. He is the goose that lays the old golden eggs. So what he has done years back, and I just found them, is he made videos. And he did a, an entire lecture series on video. I think now he definitely does nothing but online courses, but I think he made these videos before the whole technology boom of online courses you know so it's like still beginning so number one he's not a professional youtuber and you're gonna notice that they are different to watch but I feel like this is really good for the kids to kind of learn to get past those things and to learn to be connected on the work um, they're long he's funny he is a hoot and really by the time they're done they'll be able to understand a British accent really well and they're going to have a better ability to sit through lectures and to to be able to handle that long of content coming to them so I feel like this is a really big blessing he has more math um, lectures like pre-calculus he has on there I think he has trigonometry calculus um, and he might have physics and actually a physics lab on there you'll have to go to his channel and check it out you're gonna see he doesn't have a lot of subscribers he doesn't have a lot of views so it's just like this little secret golden nugget of him so what I've prepared for you in the link below that comes with wherever I put the chart for tracking your Saxon work and remember you don't even have to use Saxon and you could use this piece of paper right here um, is a listing of all 45 videos all 45 videos for um elementary algebra 45 videos so this is pretty much 45 hours worth of education right here just to make it easy for you so i have here the number in the playlist so the playlist that it's called is elementary algebra i don't think it's going to focus elementary algebra by george Minichero. And the numbering in the playlist is what I have here. And then you'll see like the first lesson is fractions. I don't think you can see that real well. You're gonna have to go and grab it and print it. Um, the first lesson is fractions. And then the next one is reviewing fractions. And just that one alone helped my daughter so much. So there's just a lot of great information. So you can print them and they could date when they finish them. Now, because it's a college course, what it really equivalents probably equates to this would be in one semester so if it's one semester it'd probably be three lectures a week two to three lectures a week to get done in 18 weeks 16 18 weeks right so it's three lectures about three lectures but with it being a college semester class I'd probably consider this algebra one algebra two Check the way it lines up with what you got. It may or may not. But I know that in the college realm, this 
set of lectures with the work that went with it would then lead you into pre or trigonometry, pre-calculus or trigon I think trigonometry, no. It would go into pre-calculus from pre-calculus to trigonometry, trigonometry to calculus one, two, and three. So this would lead you to that. Um, you could take two years to do it. You could take one year to do it. You could pull off the videos you think you need and do some of it, but I've made this for you and this will be in my daughter's book that she can keep track of what she's doing. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy him. That's him back there. That's what it looks like. Let's see. And so a lot of times they're really dark leveled, but I think you're going to love him. And I feel so pleased to get to hand them to you, hand him to you. He is an amazing um, math teacher and I think the absolute world of him. So I hope you enjoy him. I hope he helps your homeschool out this year. Um, you can go in there and you can kind of do the same that I did right here and do it for his other classes. I don't need it yet, so I'm not making it yet. Um, that you can use it for your classes and to help. And if you don't get to dual enroll for free like we do here in Florida, that this will help you college prep and hopefully you can clep out of algebra and get those algebra credits that way. So I hope this helps you, my friend. Tell me what you think. Leave me some love down there with a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I plan to go through and show you all of this year's math, um, math, all of it, all of our homeschool this year and I will give you a synopsis of it. But I just finished this and I'm so excited to share it so I wanted to get this to you. And I will talk to you later. Bye, my friends.